Hi there, this is Rachel Maskell with Revive NYC, and today I'm going to talk about um, building an opt-in box for your website. Um, what is an opt-in box? Why is it important? And then um, what are optimal ways to set this up and um, develop a programs to automate your newsletter service? So an opt-in, um, this is at our website. There's a lot of different types of opt-ins. But what we have at the bottom here is a little link that will take you to a registration box. And this registration box is ran through MailChimp, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And people put in their information. They get sent a opt-in, a confirmation email from MailChimp that confirms them as, uh, confirms their email and that they actually want your newsletter. And so it's not spam. Now, um, this is called a double opt-in. And what's really important about this is that when you don't have a double opt-in, a lot of times your emails or your newsletters will go into their spam folder. Um, sometimes once you are starting to send newsletters on a regular basis, if people don't haven't confirmed that they want to receive your information, then they can red flag you and report abuse. Now there is a limitation as well as to how many um, reports of abuse you could get before you're no longer uh, able to send out emails. So I'm going to go to uh, MailChimp here. and Before we dig in, just talk a little bit more about opt-ins and why you should have them. An opt-in, as I showed you earlier, is a way that people can sign up for your newsletters or your e-blasts or some way that you're having email communication with uh, clients and interested parties. Uh, you could do an opt-in just by having someone sign up for your newsletter or uh, a common practice is to give something in return. So it can be a white paper, a basic how-to, it could be a um, ebook, it could be a free audio, it could be a coupon, it could be many different things really depending on what you have going on in your practice and what's something simple for you to give away. It is a nice practice to do something in exchange for an email since essentially what you are doing is saying, hey, I'm going to market to you. But of course, yes, I'm going to keep you up to date with good news and um, information about the practice and things that are going on. So um, more and more people are uh, only willing to give their emails out in exchange for some kind of free goodie. Why should you even bother to do email uh, communication? It is really one of the best ways to stay in touch with clients and interested parties. You can do many different things too along the joint venture line when you have an email list. The only way to get an email list is through your current clients as well as having this opt-in on your website. You can send newsletters out quarterly, monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, as often as you like, and really depending on your business model and what your goals are with your email communication would depend on the regularity in which you want to send that out. Um, I really recommend not doing anything less than a quarterly newsletter, and even with that it's a little bit um, too infrequent. And the main reason is, is because we are getting content all the time. Um, and not that you want to overwhelm your clients, but you do want to make sure that you're staying in touch with them, that you're having a regular pulse to them, that you're able to um, create this relationship. And again, depending on what your goals are, will really depend on the type of frequency you set it up. If you're going to be doing a particular campaign or um, an autoresponder type system, that would be a little bit differently than just doing a newsletter for basic communication. So what are some services that you could use to help you with this opt-in? There is uh, Constant Contact is a really popular one, Eye Contact, AWeber, um, Vertical Response, and the one that I use and really like is MailChimp. I like it because I think the program is really easy to use. Um, it's friendly, it's fun, 
and it's integrated with a lot of other systems out there. For instance, um, you could connect your PayPal, you can connect some of your other um, contact forms, and many other programs that you may be utilizing already. Plus, it's free. So you can have up to about 2,000 emails you could send out a month without having to pay for this service. So another great, great reason to utilize them. And they've got beautiful templates. Uh, you could customize your own that would be uh, in alignment with your branding and look like your website, or you could create utilize one of their existing templates. So really depending on what your level of skill is and how much you want to play around with it. They really make utilizing their newsletter service very, very simple and fun. So this is MailChimp. Um, you can see this is where you would log in. They've got some um, great information of things that you could do. Um, so there are lots of little features that are available. Of course, Facebook integration is a great one um, and many other um, types of features that they have. You could integrate it in with your Google Analytics. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of these things, but just know that there is a lot that you could do with MailChimp and they're constantly looking for ways that they can improve their services. Um, there is great support as well. So for learning how to do your um, MailChimp account and set it up, you can go to this online training. Uh, there is a support. You could watch a pre-recorded webinar or you could go and uh, sign up for a live one and they are listed here. And they have many other videos that you could watch to get you organized and up to date and up to speed with MailChimp. All you have to do is sign up for an account once you decide that you want to utilize them. Look at that, send up to 12,000 emails per month. No contracts, no credit card required. So once you sign up, I'm going to take you to the back end of ours real briefly. And once you're here, you will get a nice, you could create your campaigns, you could create new templates, and you could get receive wonderful wonderful statistics on your newsletter and truly that is another reason why we really recommend that you um, utilize a newsletter service like MailChimp because it's going to give you great data on what people are interested in what they're clicking on so you can really begin to tailor your content and your business to support those people who are already interested in using utilizing your services. So that gives you a brief overview of an opt-in and um, an email program to use. And remember, it is MailChimp.com. And for more specifics about their program, I would recommend utilizing their online training, viewing a webinar series, and learning more about how you can integrate it into your website. If you are interested in having Revive do that for you, it is something that we do for our clients. We set up um, a customized template as well as integrate your MailChimp, uh, your MailChimp sign-up form into your website. So we're happy to help you in any way that we can. Thanks so much and look forward to bringing your message to life.